Bonjour et bienvenue à Coffee Break French. Welcome back to Coffee Break French. In lesson 23, we're still in the hotel situation, and at this time we're learning the phrase Il y a un problème. There is a problem. Sometimes there are problems when you're staying in a hotel, and in this lesson, you'll be learning how to deal with this in French. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. Now, last time, one of the words that we learned was the word for room. Can you remember what the room is when you're talking about a hotel room? Une chambre. Une chambre. Une chambre. Une chambre. Okay, so that's a room. The room would be? La chambre. La chambre, of course, because une is the feminine indefinite article and la is the feminine definite article, the word for the. La chambre. Now, Maybe in a hotel situation, you might have a problem where, for example, the room is too small. Indeed, many French hotel rooms, particularly in Paris, might well be smaller than you expect. Now, the word for small, can you remember what the word for small is? Petit. Petit, that's right, petit. And uh, the word for small, when it comes with la chambre, has to change slightly. It has to change its ending. So, it wouldn't be petit, but petite. 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 So you could say, the room is small. La chambre est petite. La chambre est petite. La chambre est petite. La chambre est petite. Okay, now if you wanted to say that the room was too small, okay, you would have to use the word for two. And the word for two in the sense is? Trop. Trop. It's spelled T-R-O-P. Trop. La chambre est trop petite. La chambre est trop petite. So, the room is too small. La chambre est trop petite. La chambre est trop petite. While we're talking about trop, Let's talk about some of the other words that we can use to qualify the adjective that we're using. So, here we're talking about petite. How would you say the room is very small? La chambre est très petite. Très petite. That's right. Très and trop. Two very similar words. Don't get mixed up. Très means very. Trop means too much. Okay, so too small. Trop petite. Very small, très petite. How would you say quite small? Assez petite. Good. Assez. Assez means quite. Assez petite. Assez petite. So if you wanted to be a little less direct when you're making your complaint at the reception desk, you could say la chambre est assez petite. La chambre est assez petite. Okay. La chambre est assez petite. La chambre est assez petite. Can you remember how you would say the room is extremely small? La chambre est extrêmement petite. Très bien. Extrêmement. 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 La chambre est extrêmement petite. La chambre est extrêmement petite. Just before we move on here, I want you to listen to the difference between these two sentences and pay particular attention to the word for is. La chambre est petite. La chambre est assez petite. I'll say them again. La chambre est petite. La chambre est assez petite. Now, what's the word for quite? Assez. Assez, uh uh-huh. And when we say la chambre est assez petite, what happens to the word for is? You can hear the T of A. Exactly. You can hear the T on the end of the word A. A is spelled E-S-T. So la chambre est assez petite, but la chambre est petite. So the T is pronounced when it's followed by a vowel. 
And the same thing happens, therefore, with extrêmement. La chambre est extrêmement petite. La chambre est petite. La chambre est extrêmement petite. You will find that some people pronounce the T and other people don't. It depends really on where the whole thing occurs in the sentence and in many ways it's a, an option. Um, don't worry too much about it. It's just important to recognise that that T there belongs to the word E as opposed to the, the following word being something like tasse, which of course doesn't exist in this situation. Now, while the room being small is something that you might well want to complain about, the room being too large isn't necessarily something that you might want to complain about. However, nonetheless, you might want to learn how to say the room is too large, simply from the point of view of expanding your vocabulary. The word for large in French, can you remember that, Anna? Um, grand. Grand, that's it. So the feminine version of grand, which we need here because we're talking about la chambre, the feminine word is Grande. Grande. So how would you say the room is too big? La chambre est trop grande. La chambre est trop grande. La chambre est trop grande. Okay, what other kind of things might be wrong with your room? Um, the heating might not work. Yeah, okay. We'll come to things not working in a moment, but let's imagine the situation where you're saying the heating is not working. You can't work out how to say the heating is not working. What you could say, something that you do know, is that it's too cold in the room. Okay, it's too cold in the room. The room is too cold. In French, you can't say the room is too cold. You have to turn it around and say it's too cold in the room. So going back to our weather lesson a few weeks ago, how do you say it's cold when you're talking about the weather. Il fait froid. Il fait froid. That's it. And in this situation, you say it's cold in the room. So, il fait froid in the room is dans la chambre. Dans la chambre. Dans la chambre. Il fait froid dans la chambre. Il fait froid dans la chambre. And if you wanted to say it's too cold in the room, il fait, what would the word be? Trop. Trop froid. Il fait trop froid dans la chambre. Il fait trop froid dans la chambre. Okay, so you've managed to work out how you can convey your problem here. The heating's not working. We don't yet know how to say that. So you can say it's too cold in the room. Let's imagine the other situation, and I've been in this one myself, where it's too hot in the room. I remember one Paris, July, and it was about 110 degrees outside, and I was in a room with no air conditioning, and it wasn't very nice. Not least because the window wouldn't open. In the upper stories of some French buildings, you're not allowed to open the windows, so I was absolutely sweltering in this room, and the air conditioning wasn't working. So it was too hot in the room. How would you say it is too hot in the room? What's it's hot again? Il fait chaud. Il fait chaud. So make this, it's too hot in the room. Il fait trop chaud dans la chambre. Excellent. Il fait trop chaud dans la chambre. Il fait trop chaud dans la chambre. Très bien. OK, so we've had the situation where the room's too hot, too cold, too small, too big, perhaps. It's also possible that there is maybe something missing in the room. For example, you might not have any electricity or hot water or toilet paper or whatever. So let's think of the phrase for there is. We use this phrase when we're talking about what there is in the town. How would you say there is a hospital in the town? Il y a un hôpital dans la Ville. <laughs> il y a un hôpital dans la ville. Okay, so il y a is the phrase for there is or there are. Now, let's put that into the negative. There isn't or there aren't. Um, il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas. That's it. Il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas. Okay, so if there is no electricity, that's an easy one. Il n'y a pas d'électricité. Il n'y a pas d'électricité. Yeah, the, the de after il n'y a pas de joins with the électricité, so it's the apostrophe. Il n'y a pas d'électricité. 
il n'y a pas d'électricité. 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 Il n'y a pas d'électricité. Il n'y a pas d'électricité. C'est ça. Ok, so, il n'y a pas d'électricité dans la chambre. It might be that there's no hot water. Hot water? Well, what's water? You know water already. Eau. Eau, ok, as an eau minérale. So, there is no water. Il n'y a pas d'eau. Il n'y a pas d'eau. So there's no water at all. Or there might be no hot water. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude. Okay, now chaud, chaud is the word for hot or warm. And eau chaude, eau is feminine. So chaude is the feminine form. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude. There is no hot water in the room. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude dans la chambre. Excuse me, please. There is no hot water in the room. Anna. Um, Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude dans la chambre. Okay, let's add to this a little more. How do you say, I have a problem? Uh, J'ai un problème. J'ai un problème. So, can you say, excuse me, please. I have a problem. There's no hot water in the room. Okay, uh, Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, j'ai un problème, il n'y a pas d'eau chaude dans la chambre. Ok, try this one. Excuse me, please, I have a problem. There is no hot water in the room and the room is too small. <laughs> ok, if I can remember it. <laughs> Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, um, j'ai un problème, il n'y a pas d'eau chaude dans la chambre et la chambre est trop petite. Très bien, et tant pis Tant pis means too bad. Tough luck. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Il n'y a pas de means there's no something. So, il n'y a pas d'électricité. There's no electricity. Il n'y a pas d'eau chaude. There may be no serviette. Les serviettes are towels. Il n'y a pas de serviette. Il n'y a pas de serviette. Ok. Il n'y a pas de serviette. Il n'y a pas de serviette. And of course, even if you have maybe one towel or two towels and you need another one, you can simply say, il n'y a pas de serviette, rather than making some long and complicated explanation of saying, I've got two, but I need three. Il n'y a pas de serviette. Il n'y a pas de serviette. And one other thing that you may need in the room uh, that you may have run out of is papier hygiénique. Papier hygiénique. Yeah, it's quite tricky to say that. Hygiénique. Hygienic. Now, when you see it written down, it looks like hygienic. So, hygienic paper would be toilet tissue. Il n'y a pas de papier hygienique. Il n'y a pas de papier hygienique. Très bien. Il n'y a pas de papier hygienique. Il n'y a pas de papier hygienique. Or you could even say, il n'y a pas de papier toilette. Il n'y a pas de papier toilette. Okay, so that's some of the things that there might not be in your room. Now, earlier, Anna, you said about the the heating not working. Now, we got around that by saying it was too hot in the room or too cold in the room. But now let's learn how to say to work, as in to function. And the verb that we're going to use for this is fonctionner. Fonctionner. So if you wanted to say, for example, the heating doesn't work, Let's say, first of all, the heating works. And then we'll put it into the negative. So, the heating is le chauffage. And fonctionner becomes fonctionne. Le chauffage fonctionne. Le chauffage fonctionne. Okay, so that's the heating works. Now, how would we make that into the heating doesn't work? Le chauffage ne fonctionne pas. Très bien. Le chauffage ne fonctionne pas. Le chauffage ne fonctionne pas. OK. Let's imagine that the television isn't working. OK. The television. There's actually two words in French for the television. The most common one really is la télévision. La télévision. But there's also le téléviseur. Le téléviseur. OK. Either one you can use, to be honest, you're more likely to hear la télévision nowadays. La télévision ne fonctionne pas. 
la télévision ne fonctionne pas. Ok, what do you think la climatisation would be? The air conditioning? Yeah, literally the climatisation. So, la climatisation ne fonctionne pas. La climatisation ne fonctionne pas. Ok, excuse me please, the air conditioning isn't working. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, la climatisation ne fonctionne pas. Good. Excuse me, please, I have a problem. The air conditioning isn't working. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, j'ai un problème. La climatisation ne fonctionne pas. OK. Excuse me, please, I have a problem. It's too hot in the room and the air conditioning is not working. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, j'ai un problème. Euh, il fait trop chaud dans la chambre et la climatisation ne fonctionne pas. Très bien. And I hope our listeners got that one too. So, we've got la climatisation, the air conditioning, la télévision, the television, le chauffage, the heating, and perhaps one other thing, la douche. La douche? What's la douche? It's the shower. Yeah, it's the shower. La douche ne fonctionne pas. La douche ne fonctionne pas. Uh, possibly the most common problem in a hotel is when you do that thing that we've all done, leave your key in the room. You've locked yourself out of your room, so you've left your key in the room. Let's start with in the room. How do you say that? Dans la chambre. Dans la chambre. Okay, now, your key, the word for key is la clé. La clé. So, my key would be... Ma clé. Ma clé. Ma clé. Ma clé. So, to say I have left, you say j'ai laissé. J'ai laissé. J'ai laissé ma clé dans ma chambre. J'ai laissé ma clé dans ma chambre. J'ai laissé ma clé dans la chambre. J'ai laissé ma clé dans la chambre. Ok, Anna, here's another little test for you. Excuse me, please. I have a problem. I have left my key in the room. The heating does not work. And it's too cold in the room. So that's, excuse me, please. I have a problem. I have left my key in the room. The heating does not work. And it's too cold in the room. Now let's let the listeners do this first. Anna, can you have a try? Ok. Um, Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. J'ai un problème. J'ai laissé ma clé dans la chambre et la, le chauffage elle ne fonctionne pas et il fait trop froid dans la chambre. Excellent. Très bien. Ok, donc, excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. J'ai un problème. Le chauffage ne fonctionne pas. Il fait trop froid dans la chambre et j'ai laissé ma clé dans la chambre. I changed the order around a bit there because I totally forgot what the other one was. What you can also say if you're getting really into this complaining business is you can say, et en plus, and what's more, et en plus, la chambre est trop petite. Et en plus, la chambre est trop petite. So you're equipped with lots of phrases this week to complain about your hotel room. Of course, we hope that you won't have to complain at all. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break French. Thanks for joining us and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break French community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakfrench and we're at Learn French on Twitter. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt! This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.